I am going to discuss how to simulate and fix an error which is known as ambiguous match exception the request matched multiple endpoints and I will be demonstrating it through a simple ASP.NET 6 MVC application. So actually this is an interesting happening that originated in my um, forming this video. It, this was I was creating my um, first microservice long time back um, by reading an ebook on microservices and in there I created through the command line interface which I am going to discuss soon uh, ASP.NET web empty application and then I wrote some code to create a controller and also change the program file to add controllers and some other middleware. All right, so when I change the default code uh, by writing some controller action method, a simple controller action method, I forgot to clear or remove uh, pre-written or default code and that ended in this error. So in this lecture, what we are going to do is I shall be discussing a scenario that originates this error and how to fix the error and learn from the same. So let's switch over to Visual Studio now. Now I have opened Visual Studio 2022 and let's continue without code. And in here, I will open the tools, option, tools, command line, developer command prompt. And this has actually taken me to this route, this path. This is what is what I have set to be the project path. Okay. So here I will write a command, command issue this command dot net so dot net new web name hello microservices all right click on enter and it creates the template asp.net core empty template was created successfully at this path. All right. Now, let me change the directory. This is already on the project directory. Right. So, I will just uh, minimize this and go to file, uh, open project solution. And this is the project created for me just now click on this project file and open so it will open the project file or load the solution for me so this is the simple hello microservices empty asp.net core uh, template has been created for me and if you double click on this uh, project file you will find out that this is created by asp.net 6 so target framework net 6.0 all right and you have got this just one program class which is mapping the application to hello world so if you now run this application either by dot net run on the command prompt or by clicking on this hello microservice you will get a quickly i can show you hello world So now it is ready. Now it is listening on HTTPS port localhost 7237. So if we browse to localhost port number 7237, it is automatically building for me. Um, so it ends up with showing just the hello world, which is what was expected. Now, if I close this browser, close this console tab, now, this is a very simple application. Now, the problem came when I tried to extend it. Now, what I would do is in this program file, I will add a few things to make it a MVC application. So, I will write this code. Uh, so, var builder equals web application dot create builder. 
method it calls and passes the arguments okay from command line now we will not delve deep into what of each of these elements mean but now i will show you how to create the um, add the controllers okay by writing like this so builder dot services dot either add mvc or you can write add controllers right so i will just zoom it up a little bit so let's zoom it to 200 percent so it is all clearly visible right so i am added the controller to make it an mvc application and then this was in the service part in the traditional um, startup uh, uh, program class so this is the startup class within the program class in the minimal api that is what asp.net 6 represents one single program class or program file that contains both the you know uh, program file related code as well as the startup code for configure services as well as the adding the middleware pipeline with the configure method for those of you who are familiar with asp.net core so the next line of code that i am going to write is here so app is builder dot it calls the build method on this builder object okay um so the next line of code is clients so use https redirection it redirects all the request made to http to https okay use https redirection adds middleware for redirecting http requests to https all right and then the next line is app dot use routing automatically it is and that's fine and next line is app dot use endpoints that's a lambda expression so endpoint goes to endpoints dot map controllers so it's so smart it's so artificially intelligence is filled into the visual studio 2022 that's why i love it it is getting better and better and it suggests most of the code which is actually correct you know <laughs> sometimes it needs to be changed of course it cannot uh, um, substitute human intelligence and human brain but it helps to a large extent these days so that's fine now just save it what i'm going to do is apart from adding controller and help us to the service collection adding our endpoints to the routing table we also added a line that redirects all http requests to https which is this https redirection and this is mapped to hello world at the moment now what happened here that is the interesting thing this if you wish to further extend it by adding a controller you must um, remove this line because this is ma mapping to front slash and uh, which you will write just the hello world and if in a subsequent controller or some other um, place in this application we are going to map to the same front slash and write some other code then it will come become ambiguous okay and then you'll end up this error okay so i kept going like this because i didn't realize and what i did next was to add a controller to add new folder and name this controllers in the traditional way controllers folder so that right click this i can add a controller straight away it will ask me for controller now this is a simple one line um, you can say controller 
which is derived from the controller base, base class and it's an empty controller and if I click add it will ask for a name to this controller and this the name I am going to give is current current date time controller okay so it's not created for me so I can keep uh, the um, main class the parent class as controller but I can also change it to controller base because I am just demonstrating something and I am not using the uh, views so because controller class is changed um, to controller base class so views it cannot take any traditional MVC view but that's not my ob uh, objective my objective is to show you uh, something which I'm going to um, tell in a second so public what I'm going to write will just get the time current time right? so public object get and get is a one liner public object get that is date time dot now or UTC now whatever okay date time now okay leave it as date time dot now and here I'll use a attribute HTTP HTTP get okay get attribute and with the route front slash that's all save this file okay now you can see if I run this application so it ended up in a server error internal server error internal server error is the title and unhandled exception occurred while processing the request ambiguous match exception the request matched multiple endpoints so when I started um, debugging it didn't occur to me immediately that why, what it means you know because I'm line writing just this uh, one action method in just one controller and that's also a one liner so where else it is getting mapped to front slash then I suddenly it occurred to me that in the program class itself there is the app dot map get and it is mapping to hello world so let us just comment this out and then rerun this application so now you get the current time so this is something which is very interesting and uh, I mean consciously we will obviously not do this kind of error but in a because we are writing codes quite fast and sometimes it completely gets out of mind where to look for so I hope this um, tutorial is helpful for you thank you